Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time. I've only done like one or two story times in the past. I think both of the videos were like mini story times so they weren't even long stories or anything. But I really enjoy them and if you enjoy them too, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time I upload, which I've not been doing lately because I've been focusing on my true crime series. So definitely I'll link it down below. Go check out my true crime videos uh it, they're on their own channel but go support me there too if you want or if you just like to listen to mystery stories and solved and unsolved crimes and things like that anyway enough self promo today's story time video actually consists of like three mini stories but they all work together to create like one whole story it just seemed too coincidental like how everything just lined up and, and the time frame and the people who were involved but let's get into it and I will tell you the story. So if you guys watched my video uh, a couple months ago when I was talking about the guy who lived in a different state who was supposed to come and visit me, but then after a while I started to feel like he was overstepping his boundaries and everything like that. So I ended up deleting him and blocked him on Facebook on all social media actually, but we had a mutual friend. and. I, I don't want to call her a friend because I don't know anything about her. I met her in the eating disorder community and I'm not like trying to drag her or anything but she just rubbed me the wrong way and she really liked drama. She would be very demanding and would constantly tell me just to call her, to text her, to FaceTime her and all this stuff and it's like one, I don't respond to demands and two, I have like a life and kids and a family and I can't just drop what I'm doing just to FaceTime somebody all the time. She'd be like, well okay, well you better FaceTime me as soon as you're done eating. Like I just felt like like, super smothered by her um so anyway so she was kind of a mutual friend because this guy that lives in a different state and then this girl who also lives in a different state honestly I don't remember what state she lives in but they kind of became mutual friends because they would jump on my Facebook lives and they would talk to each other and then they became like they sent each other friend requests and then they would talk separately but when I blocked him. I blocked her as well. There was a whole bunch of people that I blocked. And honestly, she ended up sending me a... I don't know how I can show this without... I guess I can do this. So she ended up... Oh! She ended up sending me this conversation that she took a screenshot of between her and this other person and it's about me and I don't even know why she would send me that because first of all, if she's like the friend that she thinks that she is, um, why would you send me a message about this other person? And I just, I don't care, like don't send it to me. But anyway, so that was weird that she did that. So this is where the timing gets really weird. So I was hacked on August 17th. Facebook was shut down and then she ended up contacting me the 21st, which maybe that doesn't seem like that big of a connection. However, what's really odd is I even was hacked on October 6th again. My Facebook was shut down again and then she texted me right afterward. I think it was like October 7th was when she texted me the next time. So it's like every time I get hacked, she's, she's texting me like very soon after and I just think that that's weird timing and I don't know it's just it's just bizarre to me so I was hacked on the 17th she messaged me on the 21st but I started receiving these really weird messages from somebody who I didn't recognize I would have known this person and she it's just an odd name it's an odd just everything. Her name or his name is Charmaine Semenek. Semenek? I don't know. But you can see, hopefully, she doesn't even have a profile picture. It's a dog or a wolf. And then she shows right there that that's like the Indiana State flag. So, and she even says that she visited on June 19th. I don't know if I can zoom in. I don't even know if you guys can see that. I need to learn how to do like the recording on my screen so I can just put it into my video. If someone knows how to do that, please tell me how to do it. Messages, and a lot of them were just really kind, um, like pictures that had words and stuff over, and they were saying things like, actually I have all of them right here. They were saying things like, um, the will of the strong will never be shaken by doubts of the weak. Uh, sweet words are easy to say, nice things are easy to buy, but good people are difficult to find. I wish you could see yourself through my eyes. You'd never question your worth. So I mean, they were like really nice things. They weren't anything, hey babies. They weren't anything that was mean or anything. It, 
was nice. I was like, who is this person? And why are they sending me these messages back to back to back to back? And I started looking at the person's profile and they didn't have any pictures of themselves, any pictures of other people. Like they didn't have any pictures at all. And she only, so their Facebook account was started on the 14th. I didn't add any new friends or accept, I don't accept people's friend requests. I like go to their profile, I read about them, I find out who they are and if they look like somebody A I don't know or somebody who looks distant, like not genuine or I don't know, like just if I get a creepy vibe off of them, I don't add them and I wouldn't have added somebody like this. And the name seemed made up, the Facebook profile was definitely, it looked fake and what was so odd is when I went and I looked at her profile, like I said, she didn't have any pictures, she didn't have any anything, there was nothing. The only information that I could find was that she had visited, that she lives in uh, San Jose, California, I believe it was, and that she visited Indiana on June 19th of this year. So I, I was messaging my friends and I was like, this is weird, like who is this person? Why is she messaging me? So they started looking at her profile as well. And initially they could look at it and they found out, they ended up when they were searching for her, they found that she had three different Facebook profiles. And sure enough, all three of them became my friend on June 17th, the same day that I, or August 17th, the same day that I was hacked. And her profile was only made on the 14th but they had changed their profile picture like 40 some times but that just seems excessive if you have had a facebook profile for what day was this i don't know what day in august it was but it was in between the 21st and the 31st if you had actually i can maybe look at my phone to see if it says what the date was that she started messaging me August 29th. Oh, okay. So this was two days before the 31st. And the 31st is an important date too as well. And then I ended up sending her a message back. At this point, you know, I was just ignoring her, but then I finally messaged her back and I was like, hey, I saw that you were visiting Indiana. Were you visiting somebody or do you live in Indiana? And she was like, Indiana? No, I've never been there. And I remember taking a screenshot and sending it to her. So all of a sudden that was taken down, which I don't understand again, like red flag. So that was taken down. And then I was in the middle of screenshotting my friends and I accidentally, you know, like when you're doing Facebook messenger and whoever it is that you're messaging, if you're not in that specific bubble, like it closes and then you can see the different faces of the people you're talking to in a little bubble, like somewhere on your phone screen. Well, I was screenshotting a, a thing that she, this girl had sent me and I meant to send it to Crystal and Kim, our group chat. However, I accidentally sent it to this Charmaine Semeca Mecca Mecca. So whoever it is that I messaged ended up at that point blocking just Kim and Crystal. They didn't block my husband, so like their profile was still public and my husband could still see it, Kim's husband could still see it. It was still available and still public, but when Kim and Crystal would Google search that name, all three of the profiles were all of a sudden gone. Then all of a sudden, there was like an album created where there were like these very generic looking pictures, almost like the kind of pictures that you would get in like a photo frame when you go and you buy it and then they have like some smiling family in it and you just know it's not real. And they were all of different people. So all of a sudden, they're blocked, pictures of people have been added and then they end up sending me a message and it was the creepiest message ever. She, the message that she sent me First, she sent me like a word section and it says, it has like the muscle emoji, hearts, two girls holding hands, another heart. And then it says, I wish us all more strength to cope each day through reaching out to each other for support and friendship for all of us who are grieving the loss of you. It's Overdose Awareness Day this Friday, August 31st. My prayers for love, light, and healing come one day at a time to learn how to keep growing and live again and rebuild, our, and rebuild ourselves after your death. And then there's like praying hands, a candle, a light, a lit can't, lit <laughs> I can't even speak, a lit candle, and a, like a wilted looking plant emoji. 
And then she sends me a meme that says, your life was a beautiful story. The only problem is that it ended too soon. And I just the really I really just had to take a step back because she was sending me all this really nice stuff But then she just randomly like sent me this thing like get, we're all sad because you're dead I don't know. It just really bothered me. It did not feel right my Alarms were going off in my head and I was like, oh my gosh Sorry, my camera overheated. So this profile on Facebook was created on August 14th. I was hacked and my Facebook shut down August... What are you doing? Come sit with mommy. Um, on August 17th. Then this girl who is in connection to this guy that I've already had to blog, she texted me on the 21st. So 14th, 17th, 21st, and then I get the, these weird text messages on the 29th. But that's not the end of it. It gets even more strange. So Soraya was having a friend spend the night on that Friday, August 31st. And by this point, I still remembered what the person had said, but I just kind of took it as like a hoax. Like maybe this girl who texted me, maybe she created a fake profile and just wanted to mess with me. Like I said, she really enjoys her drama. Or it very well may have been this guy that I have already previously blocked and he may have just, I don't know, felt extra sassy or something. I don't know, Google just started talking to me. Stop talking to me, Google. The strangest and the weirdest part of the story happened August 31st on Friday. We had been in the house all day except for when I had to go get one of the kids. It might have been Gavin. So what ended up happening was when I came home, my friend and her daughter were both in my house. They had cleaned my bedroom. They had made the bed for me. Like they just did them some dishes. They just, they were just cleaning my house for me, like some really sweet stuff. And so my friend left so that it was just the three of us girls and Anthony at home. And about eight o'clock, I was just getting antsy. I was really excited to go do something. I wanted to, I don't know, create like a good memory for the girls and everything. So I called the bowling alley to see if they had cosmic bowling, which they did. And we decided that we were going to go cosmic bowling. I surprised the girls. They were really excited. And I didn't post anything on Facebook. I don't post anything that I'm doing on Facebook just because I'm not dumb. I'm not going to be like, oh, hey, I'm here. Oh, hey, I'm there. Like that way people can like go and find me. And I just don't want people to show up where I'm at and be like, oh, hoo, hoo, I saw on Facebook where you are. I didn't know this, but while we were there, like sometime around like 11, 15, 11, 20, Anthony ended up posting on Facebook. He had taken a picture with the girls and posted on Facebook something along the lines of got rid of two kids and gained a new one. We ended up leaving at like 1230 and we came straight home. And when we came home, the door was locked, the back door was locked. I went in to let the dogs out of the bathroom so that I could let them out to go potty. And the girls went upstairs to go get dressed. And then Anthony was like taking his shoes off and everything. And then he ended up going upstairs himself to get my meds because it was really late and he had to get up the next morning to work. And so he went upstairs to get my meds because all of my meds are in a locked safe. And it's that way because it's just like in my agreement with my psychiatrist and my therapist that I'm just not supposed to have access. So he shout, he shouts down. He's like, hey, Sarah, you know, did you hide the fire safe? And I was like, no, I don't even touch it. And I just waited a little bit and he started to get more panicked. He yelled at me again to come upstairs. I ended up going upstairs and I thought he was just playing a joke on me. I ended up looking underneath the bed and the fire safe, our bright blue fire safe that had my meds in it was gone and we like tore apart the house the girls were so scared they were crying we were going over everything we were looking in every cabinet every drawer behind every door and underneath the couch cushions behind the couch like everywhere just in case like this was just a joke so it takes like an hour for us to finally find the fire safe which get this it happens to be outside my locked back door thrown in the corner furthest away from our back door and our, our grass was kind of tall. It was due to be like weed whacked or whatever. We our backyard is 20 by 20. So it's not even a huge backyard. And most of it is just a concrete slab. Um, we have like a path of grass. So we don't even need a lawnmower. We just use a weed whacker. So in the far corner, as far away as you can be from the back door is where my meds were at. They were sitting there 
upside down like somebody either had set them or I it didn't even look like someone threw it because I just feel like if somebody would have thrown it it wouldn't have landed that perfectly but it was upside down in the deep tall grass as though they were trying to hide it and I came inside I was shaking so bad because that meant somebody had been in my house and specifically if nobody knew where we were and what we were doing they probably couldn't have broken into my house until sometime between 11 15 to 12 30 because that's when anthony put up his post and i this is such a weird video because i know like some of you are thinking you shouldn't be sharing this you shouldn't be telling us the story well first of all my meds are no longer in my fire safe i have no idea where the fire safe is and i have no idea where anthony has my meds so it's that's not that's not going to do any good Second of all, I am at like 99.9% .9 sure that I know who it is that broke into my house and they have access to a key. So it wasn't even necessarily broken into. It was just entered. I'm not going to say who it is, but I know what they wanted my fire safe for and I know what they were hoping to get out of it meds uh anyway so it just meant that somebody was in my house and it's so bizarre to me because they chose to steal the fire safe that's locked and requires a key and you can't just break into those things i mean unless i'm wrong someone proved me wrong but i just it was so weird to me that they didn't even like try i would have felt better had they tried to steal something else my wedding rings were there i don't bowl with my wedding rings on so they were there like if somebody was just in there to grab something they i'm just surprised they didn't just grab something else as well but we ended up getting the safe i brought it inside i ended up calling the police and i was on the phone with them for like half an hour and i was like i just wanted to document everything so basically to sum it all up the 14th, this Charmaine person creates an account. The 17th, I get hacked and am suddenly friends with three of these accounts. Then on the 21st, I get a text message from this girl that I haven't spoken to in about a month and has connections to this guy in a different city. Then on the 29th, I start receiving weird messages from the Charmaine person with one of them basically being weird and being like, you died too soon. I just really took that as threatening. Then on the 31st, my house is broken into and my meds are stolen, but not stolen, stolen, just thrown out back. So it's such a weird, weird, bizarre story. And I mean, we have our locks changed now. I don't know. Honestly, because I think I know who it is, it's kind of funny to, to sit and think that this person thought that they were going to get something. Um, but it's still kind of scary that somebody was able to access my house and I'm glad that we ended up getting our keys or our locks changed because I don't know who all we've had people dog sit for us my parents have had a key my kids have had a key Gavin's lost like five or six house keys we have to keep getting him new ones and it just it, it just kind of blew my mind it made me really have to like step back and be like whoa someone broke into my house I've never had that I mean, that's not true. I did have, that's a whole other story, but when I lived in my very first apartment, my maintenance people were breaking into my house and stealing my underwear, which really pissed me off because I had Victoria's Secret and that stuff is expensive. But yeah, okay, you guys, that's all I have for my story tonight. Again, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Give me some feedback. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.